Hey guys, Mr. Churchma here. So we are now on our final lesson for good self-control. So today we're talking about words over emotion or how our words can impact my emotion and how powerful that emotion is. So this can be used both in a negative and a positive way. So talking about the negative, something happens or I don't get something or I've lost something or whatever it is, the words that I choose can decide how powerful that emotion is. So if I lose something or I'm late or whatever it is and I go, oh my gosh, I'm absolutely devastated, I'm heartbroken, I can't believe that I've lost that thing, that's awful. I used those big powerful words so now that emotion is only gonna be stronger and more powerful. However, if I'm in the same situation, whatever it is, I lost something or I'm running late, whatever it is, and I go, ah, you know, that really makes me a little bit upset. Now I've taken that emotion and I've taken away a lot of its power. So instead of being devastated, heartbroken, destroyed, I'm just a little bit upset. So by using my words, I can help maintain control over those emotions. Now it also works the other way. So I can use them to make my good or my positive emotions more powerful. So instead of saying something like, oh, that was okay, oh, that was pretty cool, I can say something like, wow, that was amazing, I'm really glad I took the time to do that. Wow, that was awesome, I'm so glad I had the opportunity to do that thing. So by controlling my words and choosing my words carefully as I'm speaking to myself about my emotions, I can change how powerful that emotion is. And those are, that is our words over emotion.